Do you think Tottenham, they can still be top four, can't they? Yes, but phew, you, the fact I'm saying but after it, you, you just, you can't trust them. Oh, you just cannot trust them. You don't know what you're going to get. You, just, you, you can't put a banker on them and say, well, you fancy them three points there against anybody, anybody. I mean, where, well, I'm, I'm was, saying it, the, was it four they lost at Leicester? They I know They lost four at Leicester After beating Manchester I th- City I think they can still Finish top four oh, I don't th- There's no doubt they can Yeah But if it came to head to head Between Spurs and Liverpool you got to say You'd fancy a Liverpool You know And a one off Yeah Alright Right Let's take some calls there Because I know you're angry Out there and, and get it off your chest Let's have a very good morning On Talk Sport To Lee a Tottenham fan Lee morning Lee good morning mate Good morning lads I, I love listening to you two you're Absolutely brilliant Good man Thanks Lee I want to say, I'm, I'm fuming, boys. I'm, my heart is coming out of my chest. I am fuming. Um, I, 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 this is all down to Daniel Levy and Joe Lewis. They, they are in it for the wrong reasons. They don't care about success on the pitch, OK? I'm going to give you some facts, right? Simon Jordan comes on in the afternoon and defends Daniel Levy, his business friend, every afternoon, right? I'm going to give you some facts. Defend this, right, lads? Defend this. Yep. Daniel Levy's just given himself a pay rise this week. They've just announced they've got a new go kart track. Yeah, right? I see that. This is what this is what Levy's done in the past. He furloughed the staff. He during COVID, he um, he wanted to enter the Super League for money. He has sacked two managers before a final. It's twenty two years with one trophy under Daniel Levy. He continues to build properties for profit for him and, De- and Joe Lewis, right? He sacked Martin Yo at half-time once. They keep buying awful, awful players, right? We've got no leader on the pitch, right? And our scouts, I feel sorry for our scouts that are all over the world because they must find a player, a gem of a player, tell Daniel Levy, and then Levy, Daniel Levy goes along and ruins the deal by... Disrespect with them, the player with an awful pay a pay packet, right? So the scouts must think, what is the point of us offering Daniel Levy any players? Daniel Levy and Joe Lewis, please get out of our club. You are at our club for the wrong reasons. Lee, let me take our next caller. Darren, Darren's called in a big Tottenham fan. Darren, Darren. Morning, Darren. morning. morning boys. Morning. Yeah, so How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Good, thanks. I mean, I didn't call up in, in essence the, the last call or anything to do with the chairman, but most of that I disagree with. But it's on the performance last night and the and the, the team itself. And now that you'll know, if you're playing against a team that's with no disrespect to um, Sheffield United, if you look at that team sheet in Sheffield United last night and you're on Sheffield United and you see no Kane, no Kulisevsky, no Romero, you're already higher up. You think, great, we've got a better chance. you got to go and win but- the game. You got to go and win the game, and then rest those players because the squad isn't good enough to Darren, do what we try to do. Darren, I, I, I've looked at the Sheffield United team, mate. I think they made six or seven changes. I, I, I look at the Spurs side, and I'm saying to myself, right, let's be brutally honest about it. Your only chance of silverware yet again for another year, yet again, is the FA Cup. So somebody would need to explain to me why you don't play your best team. Well, Alex, someone texted earlier. Look, I don't know Sheffield United's full strength of living. They've been brilliant. But, but they said, they said, you know, uh, you know, it was our reserve side. Uh, that's that's the, point like, the point I'm trying to make. That's the point I'm trying to make. Sheffield United were at full strength, and and and, and, and Paul Heckingbottom and, and, and Stuart McCall are doing an unbelievable job. They're having a brilliant season as a Burnley, of course, in that league. Yeah, but yeah. what a result! Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.